Hi everyone, Blake Jones here, and in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the new calibration software for the ASUS PA32 UCG Pro Art Monitor. Um, the new version 2.2 calibration software is really exceptional. Um, basically, what it does is it gives you the same functionality like you have for the version 2 calibration software that you had for the PA32 UCX but you have additional functions. So you have the ability to recalibrate each of the factory settings that are programmed into the monitor. Okay. And so there is also a reminder that will pop up to indicate when it's time to recalibrate your monitor as well. So there's a lot of fantastic tools that have been added to the version 2.2 uh, calibration software. Uh, let's have a look at them now. So we can see here in the version 2.2 calibration software, First, it identifies the monitor type that we're working with. And then we have, as we did in the version two software, we have the user mode calibration area and all the same settings that we had before. So as you can see here in color gamut, for example. But now you have the added function that you can touch up or recalibrate the preset that were done in the factory. So you can select here, and now you can recalibrate any of these as well. And then you can just come over here and select any of those that are available. Then we can come over, look at our history, and then see when calibrations were done. And then also we can see here that uh, these are the custom targets which were created. And then if we come over to the settings area, we've got user one and user two, which was what was programmed into those areas. So as you can see, this was set for Rec. 709. This was set for HDR in our user mode one and user mode two. If I scroll down to the uh, profile settings, on-screen display uh, presets from the factory. Here, as you can see, you have the default that was set in the factory. This one, for example, has been uh, recalibrated, or I have the option that I can reset them to the factory defaults. Now, all the settings have been returned to the default settings from the factory. So this is very useful because, for example, let's say if we do a calibration and perhaps we something uh, we wanted to change something or something didn't go as according to plan, then we can actually go through and just change this way too. So with the calibration reminder, you can turn this on. And when this is on, you can say the start date and you can say, okay, every week that it will prompt you to make sure that it's to tell you, well, it's maybe time for a recalibration. And so for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. And don't forget to have a look at the other videos on my YouTube channel for more tips and tricks. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And also think about subscribing to our Patreon channel. There's a lot of great little perks that are in there. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks a lot.